Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 67 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Today, working on stuff and things. I'm going to need one of you. I'm going to need a circuit. And... Boy, have I spent the last hour setting up auto-crafting. It's insane how much auto-crafting has to go into uh, the next steps that we have to do. Uh, but it'll be worth it. Assuming I've got some wood. That'll do. Uh, one, two, three, four. And you're usable to make an extractor. No, extractor. This one. Yay! And you're usable to make an industrial centrifuge. A block I don't think I've made yet. So I need two advanced circuits, four refined iron, and some advanced machine casings. And the advanced machine casings that I need are from Tech Reborn, which I just taught this thing how to make. So luckily I can use the carbon plate, which we already knew how to make, but we need machine blocks, which I taught it how to auto-craft. Uh, we need advanced alloys, which I taught it how to auto-craft. Uh, and uh, that should be about it, right? So lots of auto-crafting goes into this. Boom. Um, you'll notice that uh, I, I set up over here, ran it over, didn't actually clean up the wall that I broke a hole in, but I will. Um, refined iron, basically as steel goes in, refined iron comes out. Fancy pants. Um, so that's up and running and automated because we need a lot of tech reborn stuff for what we're about to do. Um, from what I can tell. So that's cool. Um, I need to make an industrial centrifuge, um, which is going to hopefully do some cool stuff for me. We shall see. Uh, we're also going to need some refined iron and two advanced circuits. So that one actually... Might take a minute. Let's see. How am I for all the things? Uh, I have to craft some empowered palace and some empowered Restonia, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then some refined iron times four. Let's just get like 10, because why not? Not 110. Boom. Remember, it's steel becomes refined iron. Those machines run really fast, which is cool, but they're also um, not the ones I need a whole lot of. Yeah, these are from Neotech. Neotech, nifty. Um, Tech Reborn, also cool. But um, I can't speed up those machines. And I'm worried about the next crafting step that I have to do. So I've taught this thing. So let's look at fusion. Remember, the fusion coil is a required component of the basic fusion crafting injector, which I need about eight of, um, I think. Yeah. Um, and to make that, we need energy flow circuits, superconductors, neochrome heating coils, and advanced machine casings. I taught it how to make this. I taught it how to make this, and I taught it how to make this. This thing I need helium cells for, and helium cells are made in an industrial centrifuge, uh, which is what I'm working on right now, or in a vacuum freezer from helium plasma cell, but helium plasma cells, I think, are made in fusion reactors, so um, I'm going to hold off on those. Cool, but you do make 32,000... EU per tick. So maybe. <laughs> That's a lot of EU. That could be fun for mass fab purposes. So we might look at making a fusion reactor. Uh, I just suddenly thought that might be fun. Hmm. We might look at making a fusion reactor at some point. I am changing my mind about this a little bit. Uh, but that said, um, I'm assuming fusion reactors require fusion coils. Um... Reactor frames are required, and fusion reactor itself requires fusion coils, along with a lot of other things that we're working towards. So it's probably um, a, 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 a smart idea to make to auto craft these fusion reactors. I don't know how Tech Reborn's fusion reactor works. I don't know if it's like a block I just place down and you're done, or if you have to build a multi-block structure. I will probably look into that at some point. Um, wow, max energy, 100 million EU. Sweet, tier extreme. Um, so that's what I'm up to, right? Lots of auto crafting was taught um, between episodes here. Um, but the, the main thing I have to do is get superconductors, which require helium cells, um, and then nichrome heating coils needs a rolling machine, which I don't think I've made one of these yet either. So we're gonna need another machine block, two compressors, and we're gonna need some more advanced doohickeys. So while that's happening, let's request two more of these, um, um, and we'll get ourselves a rolling machine. Cool? So you're gonna need two compressors, so I'm going to need two machine blocks, basic machine casings times two, circuits times two, and two compressors 
Well, I'm in the wrong terminal, but it doesn't matter too much. Compressors times two. One, two. Sweet. Um, and then rolling machine will use advanced circuits and machine blocks and two and some pistons. Cool. Uh, nice. Cool. Rolling machine. I need more machine blocks. So two more of these bad boys. Which are pretty quick to craft, luckily. So machine blocks. So there's your rolling machine. Awesome. And that's neat. So extractor is going to be needed for the industrial centrifuge, which is probably a work in progress. We've got the advanced machine blocks. We're waiting on um, more of this crafting stuff, which, by the way, once we get our fusion reactor, we can craft things like these in the fusion reactor, and they should run even faster than they do now. So that's cool. Um, and we'll get the uh, excess refined iron we need for that as well. Neat. So let's get our rolling machine hooked up and figure out how this block works. So is everything over here still used extractor induction furnace i haven't really been using my induction furnace as much anymore have i uh, i'm thinking i might dismantle that so let's take our wrench sweet um do you things blow up yeah you do okay wasn't sure good to know gonna need um a low voltage transformer wasn't wasn't 100 sure if they blew up um now i know and uh that's cool good times were uh, had by all Sweet. Um, let's get some more fiber cabling. Today we learned. <laughs> and you're an extractor. Ah, yes. Cool. So that rolling machine definitely needs low input power. Um, and I don't know if there's upgrades that make them... Like, what's the electrolyzer say it can do? That's an industrial craft machine, industrial electrolyzer. This one, um, medium tier, 120 ADU per tick. Okay, so this guy totally can accept medium power, but he's not blowing up and he's receiving high tier power. So explain that one. Yeah. Explain that one indeed. Uh, I don't have the answer to that. Let's kick off more advanced circuits because I'm going to need two more of those bad boys. Uh, so how am I going to fit this into this area here? Uh, I could set up like a low voltage dude over on this wall. I don't need this chest anymore. So yeah, that's what I'll do. Any low voltage machines that I need to have for whatever reason uh, can chill right here. That sounds cool. So do we have an LV transformer hanging out? We do. So you're outputting medium, medium voltage in this direction, right? That would seem to be the case. So let's um, do that. And that should be cool for a rolling machine right there. Cool. So let's get ourselves two more compressors. You can go away. So I'm going to need the machine blocks again. The circuits. The compressor. One, two. And you're used to make uh, the rolling machine. For which we'll need some pistons. Cool. Rolling machine go. Uh, do I have the stuff for the um, centrifuge yet? Uh, industrial centrifuge, which is also low tier, apparently. So this is a slightly more expensive recipe. I'm glad that I uh, did not go ahead and have that one blow up on me. So I can probably break you and put you here. And these guys should be good to go. Let's test it on this one first. Yay! An industrial centrifuge. Yay! Excellent. So that's my low voltage tier area. Now, industrial centrifuge, glowstone goes in with empty cells, and we should. I'll just steal them from here. Boom. Craft more. Uh, I guess that's the direction. Yeah. So here's the problem this says it takes 1,250 seconds, which is 20 minutes, by the way. 
20 minutes to make a helium cell, to make one helium cell. Um, that seems like a really long time. I mean, really long. Uh, and I don't know there's a way to speed it up. Like, there's no speed up process. And guess how many helium cells we need? A lot. Uh, so for each basic fusion crafting injector, we need a fusion coil. And for each fusion coil, we need a superconductor. And we get four superconductors from three cells. So basically, we need six cells. Um, so six times 20 is a lot of minutes. That's two hours. It's going to take two hours to process the helium cells that I need. Wah, wah, wah. That sounds like a bad time. I want to make sure hoppers work. Yes, they do. Cool. Not that I'm worried about the speed of it because it's going to take 20 minutes. I mean, it seems like it's moving faster. Um, it says 1,250 seconds. I don't suppose that's 1,250 ticks. Because, I mean, yeah, that's, that's moving. I mean, if it was really going to take 20 minutes, it wouldn't have been 15% done now, would it? I don't think so. So maybe it's 1,250 ticks is what it means. So maybe the label in here is wrong. But anyway, we'll let that run. Um, and you, Mr. Rolling Machine, how's my conduits and cabling set up? Um, I don't think, by the way, that this thing can auto-output, right? Um, cool. So let's get over here should be... So what's this channel? So there's 11 channels over here. 20. So I've got 12 left. Um, I could run it off this line easily and be good. So let's get a couple... Let's get an interface here. And I don't know if I need that centrifuge thing for anything else, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, and while that's running, let's also ask for more cables. 50 sounds like a reasonable number. Sweet. Incoming dire wire. So what I'll do is I'll run this up here, and I'll put the interface on the back, and hopefully this works. I haven't played with this mod's machines too much. Uh, but the hope is that I can teach this thing the rolling machine recipe. So for a fusion reactor, we need something, this one. So four nickel and a chrome. We may or may not have a chrome ingot laying it down. We do. Cool. So if I put you in here. Will you remember that? And be like automatable in a nice way? Because that would be cool. I'm hoping that's what the big R button does. Or not. So maybe we just want to manually craft the. the so we're going to need um, 16 of these, right? So I need 14 more. Um, so I need seven more sets of what I just did. So um, seven more chrome and 28 more nickel. I'm just gonna make a bunch of chrome and get my 28 more nickel. And chrome, you should be good now. Do the thing. Thank you. By the time I get over here, I should at least have seven chrome. There we go. Sweet. And you're at 50%? So I guess it's not that terrible, but it's definitely slow. Um, centrifusion takes a while, it would seem. Cool. So I'll just put these in there, and then we'll be good to go. 
All right, so I guess we'll be back in a large number of minutes once this has completed. So by the way, according to the wiki, if I want to make a fusion reactor from Tech Reborn, I need 24 fusion coils. So if I do want to do this crazy shenanigans, right, um, which is, again, 32,768 EU per tick, a far cry from the 1,000 we're currently producing, um, totally possible. Um, just glad I'm auto-crafting fusion coils here. Uh, the only thing I'd have to manually craft at this point is nichrome heating coils, because I've figured out a good way to get you to behave. The R button doesn't do exactly what I thought it would do. Uh, unless I can find in the wiki here, uh, how that works. Rolling machine, huh? Rolling machine. Yeah, there's nothing on there about how to automate it. Hey, all right, my first helium cell. Sweet. That at least means that I can come over here and set up the processing or, or the pattern recognition stuff. So um, I get a 60k helium cell from this. Uh, so let's program that guy. Uh, and that goes into here. And then let's get one and say that you're used to make superconductors, which is cool. You only need tungsten ingots and iridium plates, which we should know how to make all of. Iridium reinforced plate. Doesn't seem terrible. Looks like I'm gonna need more iridium ore, by the way. But at least I get four superconductors from that, so that's not horrible. Okay, so um, we just need a handful more. Hang on a sec, endstone dust, huh? That seems faster, I missed that recipe a minute ago. Uh, that is made, industrial grinder can get me endstone dust or small pile, okay. Endstone dust, looks like it requires an industrial grinder, which I don't think we have set up yet. But we could look at making one. All right, let's give it a shot. What do you guys think? Industrial grinder? Sure, why not? All right, guys, let's see if we can figure this thing out. So the industrial grinder is a multi-block, and apparently you make it. If uh, you place it down, you can hit toggle multi-block hologram, and you'll be able to see what's needed there. I think those are advanced machine casings. They kind of look like these blocks. Well, they sort of look like, uh, I don't know, hold on. Is, it, is there something in here that tells me? Because it, it renders, but it doesn't show you like a thing that says here's how you make it. Um, that uh, technological age, an industrial grinder, so you get additional items from grinding orders. You need a multi-block binder, three by three by three in size, 18 standard machine casings, three by three on top and bottom, uh, and eight reinforced machine casings with a water source in the middle. Okay, so eight reinforced and 18 standard machine casings. Um, reinforced machine casings are something I haven't taught how to make yet. Haha. -ha. So it looks like you need to be taught how to make a reinforced machine casing. Because why not? We'll teach it. Uh, so you need an advanced machine block and some, of course, we need those advanced circuits. Um, So we need an advanced machine casing. You do know how to make these, don't you? All right, reinforced machine block is the advanced machine block. This. With reinforced casing needs steel plates. Cool, so reinforced machine casing. There we go, you know how to make it. Cool, so we need eight of those. That doesn't look terrible. It looks like it'll be pretty quick actually. Coming right along. And then uh, we also need regular machine casings, right? Uh, that was how many? 18 standard machine casings? Standard machine casings. 
I'm assuming it's the Tech Reborn ones. Machine Block. Machine Casing. Standard Machine Casings. Ah! Ah, that's a different thing. That's regular circuits and refined iron. Okay. So I should teach you how to make those. Because I'm assuming we'll need them at some point in the future, like the other ones. We need a machine block for that. And at least one refined. So we can teach it. Cool. So standard machine casings look like that. And again, luckily we get four from that. Cool. Um, and we're going to need 18 of those. Cool. So that should be good. So while that's crafting, which that's just a bunch of steel, uh, let's pick this up. So it looks like this thing is actually a 3x3. Three three. Oh, great. Okay, much better. There we go. So if I do... There we go. So now you can see the actual multi-block a little bit better. So it is a 3x3. Three three. Okay, so that doesn't look terrible. I'll just clear out the space around it a little bit. And I don't know how many of these multi-blocks we'll need for some of our crafting. And again, the only reason I'm doing this is it'll be a little bit faster to make my helium with uh, end dust rather than glowstone. Um, so let's get our casings here. Uh, so we've got four standard machine casings and we're currently waiting on a bit more steel. To do, make more steel. So you're probably... Come on, buddy. Yeah, this will be a minute, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, we should be getting the last of our casings now. Boom. We can put two back, because we only needed 18 of these. But it makes four at a time, so that's cool. Um, and I'm going to toggle my multi-block here, and we will do... Whoops, wrong thing. One, two, three. Well, I don't even need the multi-block on, to be honest with you. Because I know what it is. And then you guys around the center... And remember, this is like uh, IC2 type mod, so if you ever have to break this, use the wrench from Tech Reborn. Otherwise, you're going to lose your machine and you're going to be upset. Industrial render. Yay! So he needs water, uh, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Because um, we've got fluid conduits right here. Nice. Um, pressurized fluid conduits can tap right into this dude. Right? Maybe? Maybe not? Do you have to maybe go into these blocks? Like into the center of this thing or something? No, you don't feel like connecting to that. Uh, how can I get water into you? You don't need power to be able to accept water, I would hope. Uh, so you're an input rate of 64 EU per tick, tier low. So let's get the low tier power running down here. Dire wire incoming! I did a bad job, didn't I? Really bad. Oh well, I'll live. We'll make it a little less bad. A little less bad. Uh, so hey, why don't you want to accept water? Because that's like kind of what you need and everything. Right? Maybe not until I put endstone in there? Oh, hello, now it's accepting water. Wow, and you are really draining the EUs, aren't you? It's cool that you are a low tier that only accepts 64 EU per tick. Uh, grinder, right? Grinder. Input rate 64 EU, but 
it goes 128 to 32. So do you want, like, I don't suppose that would help, right? Probably not. Just out, I'm, I'm just curious. Don't hate me for what I'm about to do. Well, actually, yeah, no. This this will have to be super dire wire -y, but I'm just really curious as to if this will work. Um, I don't want you to actually touch this cable, so let's run this down this side. Just curious. That's weird. 64 EU a ticket is such a weird number to need. Because, like, you can't get that. You can either get 128 or 32. Anyway, uh, we've got a machine making end dust, which we can throw in our industrial centrifuge. 16 will make helium cells uh, a little bit faster. And that's also how we get helium-3 cells. So that's interesting. Um, that's much better than the 16 helium cells that we would need to get. Imagine doing it this way. That would hurt. So actually, this was, like, a really good way to set this up. Because um, helium cell, helium three cells are what we're going to need if we decide to do helium plasma cells, which is what our fusion reactor thing is going to run on. Then we only need deuterium, which is an industrial centrifuge of hydrogen, um, which doesn't look electrolyzed water or well, oh, so we we should have lots of hydrogen cells, like a stupid amount, right? Yeah, we've got 3,565 hydrogen cells, so we're good on that. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so this is actually really cool. Uh, I just wish you were not so weird with your power requirements. But um, let's get another hopper down here. Well, how do I want to do this? How do we want to play this, guys? Um, do we want to teach this thing the recipe for endstone dust? Because we could totally do that, I would think. Um, so what we could do is have an interface, which will take a minute. Right there, right? Um, And we'll say endstone dust comes from endstone, right? Uh, and then we can item conduit it out. Let's test item conduits. Extract insert. Nice. Okay, so we come over here. Uh, you are made from one endstone yields two endstone dust. So that's all we have to say. Um, so we'll clear out this pattern. One endstone yields two endstone dust patterned. Check. Um, and then I was going to automate this machine, but I can't ish. Um, so instead, let's teach you how to make things. So I'm going to take you out. Yeah, stop. Okay. Um, I'm going to move all this around. So cables are going to run up here now with this interface here. And then we'll do you as an insert extract always active. And we can facade that up in a minute. Um, and you know what I might want to do is extract on brown, always active. Insert on brown. So green comes out, green goes in, brown comes out, brown goes in. Um, and this guy, we can keep like 16 of these stocked. Sweet. Boom. And uh, then we'll just do a pattern of end dust become something. So end dust, how much do we need? It's 16 per helium cell. Ow. 
And what I'm gonna do is tell it about both outputs. So this should be a little bit faster. It definitely seems faster. Um, JEI's numbers are totally different because it is not 10 times faster, right? So it's like, well, it's not five times, maybe it's five times faster. I don't think it's five times, I don't know. I can't tell. Um, Cause it goes from 240 to 12. So that's like six times, right? Close enough, five or six times? Yeah, five times, five times, yeah. It's about a fifth, right? Yeah, 250 to 1250, yeah, it's a fifth. So it doesn't seem five times faster to me, but maybe-ish. Um, let's go get ourselves a facade. Okay. So facade this thing up, boom. Nice, industrial centrifuge is actually almost done, uh, which means we'll get the helium three cells and everything, cool. Um, so we did get a helium three cell out of that, which is cool. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna put in here, right? Uh, Cause you guys make one helium cell and one helium three cell. So I'll put them both in the pattern, right? Helium three, helium. Now you know that you get these items from this machine and that should be super cool, right? Um, cool. That is beautiful. So, so cool. Um, I like it. Small pile of tungsten dust, huh? How'd you get in there? Uh, we will probably have to filter what's allowed to go in there. Filter. Yeah, you shouldn't be extracting things like that. Your extract filter will include empty cells um, and that's pretty much it. Cool. And that should no longer be allowed. So I'm just gonna drop a whole stack of endstone dust in there and then we'll be back in a minute. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is wrap up the episode here and we'll come back next time. And hopefully we are just that much closer to getting a draconic reactor. All right guys, Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.